Okay, example number 7. So we have to determine the magnitude of the reaction force. Reaction force is N. Okay, so uh, at both point A and point B. Okay, so let's look at point A. Do do. Um, I'm just going to draw it here. Lah. Okay, so can I just draw on the diagram? Boleh faham draw kan? Well, in exam, jangan lah buat macam tu. Okay, kamu have to draw dot and then the arrows lah. And never mind, I'm just going to draw it. <laughs> the, uh, I'm just going to draw it different. Not on the diagram, I should say. Okay, so this is your car at point A. And then let me draw the forces. So there's mg lepas tu there's normal force okay so itu sahaja yang present so this is mg ayah this is mg this is n okay so i'm just gonna write n a lah uh and then the centripetal acceleration is going towards the center of the circle she is going up you see okay so now let's do the question. So total force at y is equal to m a c, and then this is n a minus m g equal to m v square over r, and then we have to find n. So n a is just basically m v square over r plus m g. Okay, so you should get the, the reaction force to be equal to 102 Newton. Okay? Okay. Lepas tu, we do for the point B pula. So, point B is this one. Point B. Okay, so point B, dia punya weight. Dia punya weight as well as the normal force is pointing at the same direction okay so m g n okay why so bab sekarang di the normal force yang in contact is this dengan the car here dia tiada contact dengan yang di atas ni dia tiada car so that's why dia punya n pointing downwards okay Okay, so now total force Y equal to M, M, A, C. So this one, centripetal acceleration there is also pointing down, beginning, is A, C. So this one is just N plus M, G equal to mv square over r so n is mv square over r minus mg so you will be getting the value this is b point b uh, point b uh, you will then get the reaction force at point b to be equal to 78.2 newton all right so that is your example number seven.